Hey gang, are you having trouble removing traffic film if, even after a thorough wash? Uh, even after a thorough scrubbing sometimes, you it can't remove 100% of the traffic film. Um, that along with some staining um, and just overall dullness. Uh, I'd like you to try a product if that's the case. It is the 4211 Stereo Glaze by Ardex. It is a machine brightener. It's an ultra high gloss cleaner. The product has minor diminishing abrasives. Um, it's a cleaner and it puts one heck of a gloss. It brightens up whites, silvers, and grays. Let's take a look at it. Okay, today we have a commercial fleet. It's gonna be plenty of staining and traffic film to remove. Even after pre-wash, contact wash, and clay bar, there are still contaminants on the surface to remove before protection. From the body line on the cab all the way down to the bottom of the vehicle, there's heavy staining. Some of it reaches all the way up to the door handles. Staining and some traffic film are found all the way back through the length of the bed as well. So we'll take care of that today with a good product, the Stereo Glaze 4211 by Ardex. I really enjoy using the rotary with this product with a medium cut wool pad. So I will um, apply the product directly onto a 2x2 two two or a 3x3 three three section, um, evenly spread it out over the area and work it from there. No sling that way. You can use the product with a DA and even by hand. It's a, an extremely easy product to work with the rotary and a wool pad just rest the tool on top of the panel, let your hands guide the tool, and let the tool do the work for you. No pressure needed whatsoever. Nice, smooth, deliberate arm movements, and the rotary will just glide across the panel. Look closely and you'll notice the 15 degree working angle that um, ensures no skipping and the smoothest ride across the surface with the rotary. As I have showed in an earlier video, the rotary, even with a wool pad, corrects at a cooler temperature than a DA. I used the gauge and showed you that firsthand. Now, even more important with a wool pad than a foam is to clean off the pad before you add any new product, either by designated brush or forced air. If you take notice and look closely, you'll see even after the brush, the forced air rushes a lot of dirt and debris out from the pad. And a little demonstration on the product being user-friendly, even by hand, using a soft microfiber application pad. I'm going to do a tiny section at the bottom where all the staining and traffic film is. I'll do a little square and we'll come in and take a look and see how well it has cleaned the area. I'll probably be afraid to look because I know there's a ton of scratches down there for me to correct later. So I bring you in close to see how much junk this product has removed from the panel, even with a soft uh, microfiber application pad. So we'll start working on this fender and finish up the front clip. I'll do half the fender, um, one half at a time, spread the product evenly with microfiber application pad, and go to work with the rotary. We 
All right, we're flying now, moving right along. I'm going to run a piece of tape down the middle of this door. I've already showed you a section uh, by hand, how well the product uh, removes that junk. So we'll machine it this time, and we'll remove the tape and look at the 50-50. And that's going to do it. With one pass, hardly any effort. So let's remove the tape. We'll come in and take a look. And there you go. Huge difference. Now um, the panel is actually finally revealed. I get to see how many nicks and scratches I need to work on down here. So after a nice long afternoon, we are finally done with the paint. Um, take a look at the fender and the hood, how bright the product has made it, livened it up, made it nice and shiny and glossy, perfectly clean. The only thing to really do now is uh, decide which wax I'm going to go with, which wax or sealant to protect it and make it pop even more. Guys, this product also does well with uh, silvers, gray, and other colors that um, can be a bit more difficult to make stand out, um, stick out, or pop, so to speak. So yeah, gang, this does a great job after the wash process is um, over and done with. In continuing the cleaning process, the brightening process, if you have a vehicle that just needs to be uh, livened up a little bit, this is a product for you. I'll put a link down below. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate. Brian from Apex Detail, catch you in the next video.